Hello, and welcome back to Auntie's Garden. I'm so glad to be back and making a video. I haven't made a video in a while, but I was just taking care of um, cleaning up my garden. That's what I've been doing and preparing for my fall garden. And so today I'm just going to show you what I'm doing with my two raised containers that I cleaned out. Um, I've already amended the soil with some blood meal and bone meal. And so I always like to add in this um, Terra Thrive organic worm castings. And so I'm going to add a little bit. It says to add one inch to your soil and then spread it throughout. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I used this um, in my spring garden and in my summer garden. And um, I really liked how my vegetables turned out. So I'm going to use it again. And I think it's a really good um, addition to your soil as you're preparing it for your next garden. So in this container, I plan to add some bush beans. Last um, garden, I had tomatoes in here and greens and kale. So I decided to do something a little different in this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of spread this out over the top and then I'll add a little bit more and then I will go ahead and um, add my seeds in here so just a little bit more I'm excited because it's finally raining here I'm in Southern California grow zone 10b and we have had two days of rain. So I was like, let me get out here and take advantage of that. I know all of you know that rainwater, it just does something extra for your, um, the plants, the things that you're growing, they just love it. So I'm just going to um, do some, some light rows here and like I said I'm doing these um, bush beans here I grew them last um, season and they were really good and I got these from like the dollar store so um, it was really good so here they are and I just push them down a little bit into the soil. I don't need to really cover them up too, too much. And as I was saying, it's it's been raining here and I'm excited about that because it's been so dry out here in California. Oh, it was just hard to even keep the garden up because I had to water so much and it was just really hot and really dry. So, okay, one more. Okay, so that's my first container. And let's see here, I'm gonna go over to my next container and do the um, so let me add again these I've already amended them this is my second container and um, I'm just adding the last 
bit of the um, worm castings and then I'll be ready to plant up. In here I'm going to plant some um, curly mustards and I'll show you the pack in just a minute. For those of you who haven't ever grown in um, an elevated container, this was my first time and I really enjoyed it. I mean, it is a small area, but since I'm a beginning um, gardener, it was just enough for me. It was just fine. I'm excited about the next garden and it is starting to sprinkle again, but I'm happy for it. Okay, so. And in here, let's see here, these are my, um, let's see if I can get that, Southern giant curl mustards. I got these from the okra lady. Um, my backyard Texas gardener. And I'm going to try these out. She has the most beautiful garden. And so I wanted to give these a try. And I have some curlies, curly mustards that I grew last season they're actually in the seedlings are in the um my little greenhouse and so they're coming along well so as soon as those get up a little bit stronger i will be planting those in here as well so i'm just going to sprinkle um, sprinkle some seeds and see how they do they're so tiny that I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle them here on the surface. And that'll be it. Okay. So I'll be bringing you along in my spring, I mean, no, fall garden. I'll be bringing you along in my fall garden and letting you see what's going on. So um, if you like the video, please like, press the like button and subscribe. Okay, talk to you later.